Hey, what's going on, Pokemon fans? Welcome to Pokemon Tissue Juice Center. Today's video will be looking at decklist from regionals in Daytona, Florida. So, this weekend, 464 masters competed to win uh, regionals in Daytona, and Drew Kate ended up beating Sandro um, Pero in the finals with his Guard War and Sylveon tag team deck. Unfortunately, ADP couldn't stand the chance against that Guard War, or at least I think, because I still didn't manage to watch the finals. Um, but anyways, what's really special about this deck? Definitely Oma Star with the Fossil Bint as a ability that says that as long as you have Hero Pokemon in play, then your opponent, they can't play any item cards from their hand. And that's really broken, especially against Melmar. On the other side, with Guard War and Sylveon Tag Team GX, you can hit for 150 and move some energies to your other Guard War, or Magical Ribbon with 6 energies, or 3 for 200, but with 3 additional, you can just um, shuffle your opponent hand in their deck. And that's also one of the broken things. Lugia here basically stands for the Lost Purge GX, where you can simply put your opponent's active Pokemon with all energies attached to the law zone. So really strong against Mewtwo decks. And overall that's it. Um, five basic Pokemons and one almost star, no ability Pokemons. And um, from the item cards this deck runs four copies of custom catchers so you can custom catch your opponent batch Pokemons like Melamore for example or maybe Pidgeotto's. It can definitely help you out. Energy Spinner um, times two, really important to get energy in the first uh, turn so you can simply go with that um, fairy song one copy of great catcher also four copies of coming uh, four copies of pokey gear uh, 3.0 so you can much easier try to find a um, supporter card and then there is one communication communication so important because with communication and rare candy combo you can easily trade one of your card wars or or lugia and if you have already in play and identified a fossil then you can set up Omastar. One copy of Rare Candy, three copies of Recess, Temp for an uh, opponent hand disruption. So if we can disrupt the opponent hand and ability to play item cards, we can easily win. And that's the true, of course. Um, three copies of Switch cards, three tag calls, which allows you to search your deck for any, uh, either way. Tag Pokemon or tag supporter card, three copies of tag Switch. And then one Identifying Fossil. A stadium decision for power plants to shut down all abilities. Three coach trainer as a draw supporter, as well as three Cynthia's and Caitlyn that can be, uh, bring back some of the uh, supporter cards that we already played, but unfortunately, not the Cynthia and Caitlyn or supporter that we discard with Cynthia and Caitlyn. One Faba, really important to remove the special energy or tool from our opponent Pokemon into the law zone, mainly for those recycle energies and maybe weakness guard energies and stuff like that. Four copies of Green Exploration. Two Mellow Atlantis for the switch and heal, uh, two copies of Fairy Charm, the Psychic one, and one Stealthy Hood with nine basic energies. So yeah, that's the deck list that won um, regionals in Daytona Beach, Florida. Make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos if you already didn't. I'm gonna play one video so you can see this deck in action and that's gonna be it for today. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. All right, so um, it looks like that <clears throat> Tag Team Silvio and GX actually managed to win a tournament. Am I surprised? I should definitely say that I'm not. Regionals in the Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, Drew Kate actually played this deck and he achieved first place with this deck. All right, so second place was nothing less, but again, Xander Pero with ADP Keldeo. All right, I still didn't have a time to watch that uh, video, but I should definitely check that out. So we're probably gonna need one rare candy, and I probably, I'm probably gonna also need to find a way somehow to set Omastar in play. It looks like the communication has been priced. Um, I have Energy Spinner, yes, alright, so we're just gonna go with one copy of Tech Call. Alright, you then find Fossil, Energy Spinner for sure, 
and what else do I need? Let me see which fairy charms he play. Prevent all damage down. Okay, so Pokemon Psychic types, Stealthy Hood, and this one is say that. Okay, Psychic Pokemon. So we're just gonna go with that charm attachment. Additionally, I could play Tech Call. Why not? For something like probably this for now. And I'm looking to pass my turn. All right, I don't think it's good time to use Gardevoir and Sylvan and put it on the bench for now. So we're just gonna avoid doing that. And of course, I'm playing against annoying Melomar deck. I'm very familiar with the Melomar deck, so this might be communication for third Inke. It's really important to establish a Melomar lineup on your bench. It is a main engine in this deck. All right, so I didn't see what he took with the communication. I think probably nothing. He just decided to shuffle back that Giratina, and there is Acrobike. All right. Oh, Viridian 4 is discarded. All right, interesting choice. Sometimes Acrobike can be very um, bad because you can top deck literally two spell tags with the. Uh, Acrobike, and then you just need to take one and discard another one. And in my opinion, that's really bad. We have Faba, so we can discard either way um, special energy or tools. So, obviously, for now, I'm gonna keep that unplayable. So, I'm gonna discard Faba from my um, hand in order to get that green exploration. Three extra cards. I think it's a good time to put my guard over on the bench and additionally one fairy song should be played here all right um so what's really important um with that Peba card um it's really important to discard recycle energy from your opponent pokemon so um he cannot use it uh, for example, on that Giratina. So, already two Melomars. So far, so good. For the next turn, I think I'm probably just gonna go with maybe one Custom Catcher and switch play with Green Exploration, where I will try to knock one of my opponent Melomars. Of course, it's really important to knock Melomars out, so we can prevent our opponent from you know, charging energies on Giratina. And turn after that, I can just use my Cynthia and Caitlyn. So I have really good hand and plenty of choices uh, what to do. And that's really good. And so far, my opponent is doing a good job. And he also have those League promo cards like Acrobike and Mysterious Treasure, which is always nice to see. This mysterious treasure looks really badass. And there is third Melomar. So the only thing my opponent is lacking right now are energies in his discard pile. However, he had Latios with the tech purge. I'm even thinking about maybe knocking out that Latias with my magical miracle GX, and I can then take two prize cards. I think also that's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, let's be honest. Definitely it's not. But the worst thing that can happen is that my opponent can simply retreat and use clear vision. And then I can't one-hit knock out that Latias. And that's the big problem. That's definitely a big problem. So it looks like that's gonna happen. Hmm. All right, I don't know how to byplay that turn. Um, let's be honest, I really have no idea because I didn't play this deck so often. Um, still, I can prevent all damage done. That's at least something, right? Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna go with the green exploration and I'm gonna grab myself catcher and let it be um, maybe power plant. I mean, I really don't need power plant, let's be honest. Maybe I can just grab another green exploration, for example. Oh, I didn't took switch. Okay, so switch card was missing here. Um, <clears throat> okay then. Um, <clears throat> not gonna be easy for sure. We need to deal with that tag purge sooner or later. And this game might just go endlessly um, until the end because... Okay, there is one switch into Stellar Wish for Cynthia and then who knows what additionally to that. Um, as long as he have that tech purge, I can't attack him, he can't attack me. So that's... That's the good thing, but... Um, I'm also going to need to find a way to to draw six prize cards, which is not going to be easy. So my main focus can be just to deck out my opponent, for example, as long as I can have enough resources to um, heal the damage and retreat, so I can avoid my guard or being knocked out in the active spot. And the, in the first place, of course. So 22 cards left, and we might see that Tag Purge coming up. Yeah, as expected. Tag Purge. Unfortunately for nothing. So Tag Purge says that during your opponent's next turn you can prevent all damage done to Latias. So I'm not quite sure how Stealthy Hood should work. Um, but at least I can knock one of those Melomars out. We do have Energy Spinner available. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go with Cynthia and Caitlyn. Additionally, I will try to draw three cards. Faba will be my option. I'm trying to prepare myself for the following turn. And let's go with that Kaleido Storm for the knockout. So that's 150, no energy needs to be moved. And first prize card in the game is nothing less but a Pokemon Communication. Alright, so maybe I can prevent my opponent from playing those item cards. This could be very problematic for him. So I'm still trying to figure out a way somehow maybe to custom catcher his Melomar. Um, and then I can great catcher his Latias, but that's unfortunately not enough. That is unfortunately not enough because still I can just go for like 150. Um, right now I actually need Pokemon, so one Tag Call should be fine. Tag Call and let it be... Abilities, but this is not ability. If you have four of your Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can't attack, but he have five Pokemon in play. All right. Um, let's go with a custom catcher, shall we? Amastar can be set up. That's that's at least something. And next turn I'm ready to go with the Faba. 
once again I can play the storm into nothing and that's the only thing that I can do for now so next turn I can try to disrupt my opponent recycle energy and hope that he don't have draw support or neither his energy so fab for um, recycle energy all right and then again, I can collate a storm for nothing, no energies to be moved. And let's see what's gonna happen next. Can he find himself another energy card for another tech purge or not? I don't know. Um, actually, my power plant is helping him to attack. I didn't even realize that. Oh, what a mess. Oh, and there's the third energy card. All right, so I guess we can go until the end like this. And I can just pass the turn, my opponent can draw a card, I can pass the turn, my opponent can draw a card, I can pass the turn, and we can go over and over and over again. And this can just be endless play. So what's the point of this matchup? I mean, as long as there is a stadium card in play, I can... Um, I can't disrupt my stadium from play, so... Yeah, I just don't see how to win this game. I mean, I managed to draw one prize and that's literally it, so... I can tag Purge. Probably he have enough Cynthia's available. He played three Cynthia's and one Lily. Alright, so we are on the mission to deck out our opponent. So there's just a tag Purge. Whatever. Um, let's go with another pass. So yeah, nothing he can do as long as I have Fairy Charm, unfortunately. There's literally no options available for him, and I can do another Fairy Charm, so both um, Guardware and Sylvia and GX are gonna be protected until the end of the game, but I just wish I didn't put Power Plant in play. I didn't even realize that I put him in play, so as long as the Power Plant stays in play, um, he can attack. But um, if you have four or fewer Pokemon in play, but he have like five Pokemons in play, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. It all depends, since he have 12 cards, it just all depends on um, if he will have another Cynthia available in order to win the game. Cynthia, maybe Tate and Liza. I see three Cynthias uh, in a discard pile, so potentially he could have another one. Problem for my opponent is the fact that he can't play item cards as long as they have almost turn in play. And all I really need to do is just pass my turn. Imagine this situation in the real life tournament. It would be a complete disaster for both players. Personally, if I'm my opponent, I would probably just try to do some damage with the Giratina. Um, but if I have Cynthia in my hand, I would just go with attack purge until the end and then just drop the Cynthia down and um, the moment he dropped the Cynthia I lose the game because I don't have Cynthia in this deck. This deck doesn't play Cynthia so you cannot re re um, reshuffle your hand back in your deck and then drop the new cards. Alright. Five cards for my opponent, five cards for me, four cards for my opponent, four cards for me, three, two, one. Zero. Um, yeah, really, really interesting situation for both players. I really need to say that I never played a game like this before. But I know that if I if I was my opponent, I would probably just try to attack with Giratina and deal some damage, and probably I would win. If I'm Melamar player, of course, because I don't know. I wouldn't have enough Melvin Lanas anyways. At least I think I wouldn't have enough. But still I could use tag switch cards and stuff like that and just switch to another tag team and attack with another tag team. So will he have Cynthia? For the moment there's a Cynthia. Uh, okay. You have a good deck for sure. So yeah, that last Cynthia actually saves the day for my opponent. So I'm actually gonna deck out myself. So that's just, that is just so unfair. So yeah, this deck can actually lose really easily by decking himself out because 
you can have to recycle your cards back into your deck. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy watching this video. It was a little bit stupid, but still, it was a video. At least there's a deck list um, that won a um, regional in Daytona, uh, Florida. And Drew Kate played this deck. Once again, this is the deck list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. As usual, have a nice day and goodbye.